it's organized mayhem, really. I'd say it's American football with better athletes, better all-around athletes. And it lets you do everything. It's a sport without limits. There's only one ref with 30 guys on the field. So you can imagine what kind of stuff goes on when the ref turns away. And after the, the beat-up game of pounding your opposite or whoever you come across, the home team takes you and feeds you and gives you beer all night. Right. And you laugh about the time you almost punched each other out. January 14th, some people know it as a human being. We knew it as a rugby match. We were playing in the, in the polo field uh, in San Francisco, and there was something happening that went into the field. And there was music playing, and it was loud. Thousands of people milling around and the faint smell of marijuana. A bunch of guys came over and were watching us, a bunch of Hell's Angels guys and they, they were admiring uh, what a rough and tumble game that maybe they ought to give up their motorcycles and take up, take up rugby. There was a noise. And an airplane flew over. And all of a sudden, some guy jumps out of the plane. As he's coming down, he starts throwing out what looked to me like little white paper snowflakes. It wasn't snowflakes. It was uh, LSD uh, tickets. The Olympic Club financed our tour and we went to Wales and England and Ireland Ireland did we go to France too to France, yeah. France and it was the beginning of American players playing against top flight um, European teams so we said Olympic Club we're breaking away we called us a bunch of crybabies I said, I'll tell you what kind of crybabies we are. We'll take our guys and we'll form our own team and we'll beat the shit out of you. We were number one in 1968. Bats were always the team that you wanted to beat. Bats means excellence. It was an expectation that you're going to be the best and you're going to win everything. And oftentimes, that is what happened. We went to Russia instead of Australia because Mr. Waste insisted that we go to Russia and we didn't know why. <laughs> We didn't know at the end that uh, Jim Waste uh, had some other activities that were going on. <laughs> like CIA. Uh, like, well, well, yeah, he was a spook, as it turns out, and <laughs> using us as a front for the really strong We were really in, in this really strange place with a guy who was a CIA agent, like spying on people while we were trying to find a record. <laughs> <laughs> Although there'd be silly, there'd be silly rumors that he's on the payroll of the CIA. We had a lot of good laughs about that until about 20 years later and we found out it was true. This tour, all by itself, could be a documentary, but you'd have to, I don't know what it'd be rated, but it'd be a documentary <laughs> all by itself.